Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about the state of wheat around our planet as we're into these colder temperatures right now, as we're predicted through a solar minimum type cooling event. Around the world, there's been lost wheat production in the United States. It's behind planting schedule as well as what was in the fields died from the extreme cold over the United States over the last couple of weeks. And with cold temperatures breaking records kept all the way back into the late 1800s all across the United States, you would think for sure that this cool would have some effect on the seeds that are just sprouting out of the ground right now for the winter wheat. 32.8 degrees Celsius, and that turns out to be 27 below zero Fahrenheit. In Russia, they experienced the same type of phenomenon. Wyoming was 26 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Extreme temperature drops during this period, 64 degree drop in one day in Texas, 52 degree drop in Denver, Lamar, Colorado down 41 degrees. And the extreme cold seems to be right in these areas where a lot of farming in the uh, U.S. heartlands takes place. The snow's on top of the crops. This is cotton. Supposedly it did pretty well. Something with the freezing keeps the shell intact so the cotton inside's not damaged the fibers. But when we jump back to wheat, the low temperature is likely to hurt an area in Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas. That's exactly the same place where all of the cold temperatures are. Back here in Denver, 1882 cold record, and wheat was up 8.9% on the worries of the cold damage in the United States. And this cold weather started last month, early snows in the north, coldest ever temperatures in Chicago, most snow ever in Buffalo. Now these are places in the north that always are cold, but these are breaking records out of the 100 year plus mark. And this winter weather is taking a toll in the U.S. for the planting, taking away 65 million hectares. Although they do say it's from the lower profitability and there were some crop switchovers, but also has some of that has to do with weather. The frigid temperature is halting wheat planting across the Midwest. So what the fields look like, they're not planting right now. And I came across this winter wheat harvest map. I could only find details on a single state out of the lower 48 states that were the percentage of the harvest out of the fields. Interesting on that. But more cold is expected next week as well. And when we get into these feedback loops, cooler temperatures, if they're having difficulty now with the wheat, they'll have difficulty next week when it's cold again. And it's going to get colder. We're going into December. A snapshot on the world view here. The U.S. Midwest has been rising about, about 2%. but other Nations with large populations like India and China, Indonesia are about half of that or less. This is the actual yield of change. Red means losing production, green on the light green means increasing production. Notice how quirky it is in the United States right where it's red, that's where they're losing production. And also in Australia to the right at the bottom there, just up from Antarctica, this year they lost enough wheat production to decrease their exports by 5% back in July and August. And then if we take all of these losses and gains around the planet, and the World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimate Report shows that the global wheat supplies are lowered by 1.1 million tons because of decreases in some places affected by cold, yet others increased, Europe increased, so the offset was 1.1 1 million tons negative, 1.4 million ton increase, which leaves a 300,000 ton surplus, apparently. Egyptian wheat is down in production. Kazakhstan down 14%. Australian wheat production is not at the lowest year ever, but it does seem to be in a declining trend year upon year from 2011 and 12. Could reverse itself next year, maybe not. Maybe it'll continue into a downward pattern since 2012, but it could ramp up production again. The thing was though, Antarctica had record sea ice since 1979, exceeding 20 million square kilometers. So the 50 to 70 degrees south parallel should have some sort of weather fluctuations in there as it gets cooler. These kind of losses in crops will not exclusively be a single crop such as wheat. It should expand over the entire plant kingdom, if you will. 
Russian sunflower seed production down 15%. Corn harvest in China down 2%. A better observation for you to see the easy downtrend on here, the next solar cycle 25 is supposed to be half of what 24 was. And when we get into those kind of numbers of 50 sunspots per month is the average. And it seems to be that magic number 50 for some reason that triggers the solar minimums. The last one was the Dalton minimum, the one previously about 400 years ago in 1620, 1630, was the Maunder minimum. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Possibly be able to take a look and see which direction the commodities prices and food prices should be trending over the next couple of years.